Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my recent visit to the Midwest in Ohio. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Looking to visit old friends, I ventured to Akron, Ohio. Never gone there, it was meant to be a bunch of sightseeing and resting from work with the company of good friends from the good old days of high school and college. As a gamer, there will also be a bit of gaming experience that really opened my eyes at the very end of our trip. As we went sightseeing around Akron, we stopped by the home of LeBron James. Not really as big of a fan as others of LeBron, we still had fun checking out his high school before going pro. As a big Bone Thugs and Harmony fan from the mid 90s, we also went to see East 99th Street that was always mentioned in their lyrics and hometown growing up. Really nice to visit and see. Also, growing up, I was a huge WWF fan before it was renamed to the WWE with greats like Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, and Bret the Hitman Hart. Revisiting wrestling in the 2000s with The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, I was always loving entertainment wrestling. We went to Columbus, Ohio to see a live event with AEW's Dynamite Live show. It was a fantastic experience and was treated with old favorites like the Hardy Boys and Rob Van Dam. Although not getting back into wrestling entertainment anytime soon, it was great to see again in action and really had a fun time. The Pro Hall of Fame was always something that was on our list and we wanted to see the history of the NFL. We were able to check out many of history's greatest players as well as the incoming class. Of course, I did look up my favorite NFL player with Steve Young and other Niner greats as well. As a huge baseball fan, we went to see the Cleveland Guardians and their stadium as the Guardians played against the Toronto Blue Jays and seeing ex-San Francisco Giant and World Series champion Brandon Belt in action along with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as big highlights. The ballpark was very nice as it was built in 1994 and definitely still holds up today. Another baseball team we visited in a close neighboring state was the Pittsburgh Pirates and PNC Park. Very similar in design to Oracle Park, the stadium was absolutely gorgeous. We watched the Pirates play against the Cincinnati Reds. Both parks were awesome in their own right, but we didn't have as many food options as we were accustomed to from Oracle Park. It was weird to see, but still a fantastic experience. Being able to see downtown Pittsburgh was really nice to see and had incredible vistas. Great time checking out things even though it rained while we were there. The food we ate also was very good and I look trying to eat a little bit more healthy again since I'm back home. People all around us also knew that we were new to the area and never hesitated to help us with directions or in just general information. The gaming portion of the trip had us playing on the PS5, Xbox Series S, and the Nintendo Switch, which my friend owned in our downtime. Playing multiplayer games like NBA 2K23, Streets of Rage 4, Street Fighter 6, and Guilty Gear Strive took most of our time. The one type of game that really got me was driving games on the PS5 with Gran Turismo 7, F122, and especially Dirt 5. As a huge driving simulation nut, my friend owned his own driving rig that I never experienced before. I love driving, seeing my car, and hate driving in a cockpit mode, but with the rig, I couldn't get enough of that experience and absolutely fell in love. I can't imagine playing in any other perspective now, as long as I have the rig of course, which I'm currently searching for in buying one of my own in my gaming room. Other than that, this was one fun, relaxing trip that really makes old memories with friends with fun experience all around. I love to go out there once again, especially for that driving rig if I ever get one. That's it for this look at my time in the Midwest. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. 
B Ho Out and Greg take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah.